in this forecast. A significant severe weather outbreak is coming to the Midwest today. Extreme hail, damaging winds, and tornadoes are all possible. And a major pattern change will bring more severe weather, but a cool down to portions of the United States. All of that and more is coming right up. Hey everybody, welcome back to a max velocity weather forecast. And today what we're going over is that severe weather outbreak expected across the Midwest today. Severe weather continuing as well into Sunday and Monday. I'm going to give you the latest timing, the details, and everything that you need to know will be in this forecast. Let's hop right into it. So as of right now, the enhanced risk of severe weather has grown. It now includes areas in western Michigan all the way back out to the west into southeastern Minnesota. There's also a slight risk that goes all the way back out to the west into areas like eastern South Dakota and all the way back back down into Ohio for the storms that we have ongoing right now. The main threats today will be the potential for damaging winds as high as 90 miles per hour. We may also see some very large hailstones initially with the storms back out this direction and also the potential for maybe a few tornadoes. So here's a look at the hail threat for today. There will be a 15% probability within a 25 mile radius that extends back from the west over into Minnesota all the way back out closer to Michigan. But the main concern today in terms of hail will likely be in this hatched region. That's where we're looking for the potential for very large hailstones. I'm talking the potential for maybe hen egg size or even as high as baseball size tail in that area. Again, that will be a pretty isolated risk and that risk will only really be from now until maybe 3 o'clock this afternoon. It's primarily going to be an early afternoon threat or late morning. We've already seen some hen egg size tail out there this morning, so that is what we got going as of right now. Tornado threat overall, I've seen a lot of people saying we're going to see some strong tornadoes. I just don't see that happening. I think today is going to be maybe a few tornadoes, but they should be brief and weak. We're not looking at your, you know, your crazy tornado outbreaks by any means. This will be a pretty low end chance today, but there may be a couple out there just make sure you're taking the proper precautions today have a safety plan in place but again damaging winds being the main concern today and that will likely be a numerous to potentially widespread threat Let's take a look at the uh, timing for today. Here's a look at Minnesota, 11 to 12 o'clock this afternoon. We'll start to see some showers and storms going through Minneapolis. There are already storms going through southeast from Minnesota. Eventually, by 2 to 3 o'clock, that line will start to develop back down into Michigan as well as into Iowa. Here's a look at the timing out that direction. By 3 to 4 o'clock, we'll start seeing a more pronounced line of storms from Mason City all the way back up here to the north toward La Crosse. And again, this is actually a little bit different from yesterday. The line is a little bit further to the southwest. Just for reference, we're looking at a little bit different in terms of timing. By 5 to 6 o'clock, you can start to see that line will move toward areas like Midwest. Milwaukee, West Bend, and Janesville. And by the way, this will be a very pronounced line of storms, so damaging winds, definitely a possibility out that direction. By 8 to 9 o'clock, this will eventually move into Michigan. And by 9 to 10 o'clock, we'll start to see Grand Rapids, as well as areas in western Michigan starting to see some storms by 11 to 12 o'clock. Storms moving to southern and southeastern portions of Michigan. So overall, again, damaging winds, the main concern today. Definitely can't rule out an isolated tornado or two, as well as, again, that potential for some very large hail. By the way, we have another chance for severe weather tomorrow. That does, again, include the Midwest, portions of the Midwest, at least Illinois, and as well as Missouri, both included. All the way back out into Ohio, and as well as down into the uh, northeast, actually, are included in this slight risk as well. Marginal threat goes all the way up into Vermont. Now, the main threats tomorrow will be damaging winds, potentially for some isolated large also an isolated tornado or two may exist tomorrow pretty similar threat to today i think tomorrow's threat will be slightly lower but we might see an isolated tornado or two tomorrow here's a look at the timing overnight tonight by the way across areas in portions of illinois as well as into indiana we'll see some showers and storms developing tomorrow morning these might pose that threat for isolated damaging winds or large hail again that'll be basically our severe weather potential starting to initiate by about four to five o'clock tomorrow across portions of indianapolis as well as all the way back down to the west closer to st louis by eight to nine o'clock most storms will be weakening out over in illinois and indiana i expect the severe weather threats out that direction to only really be between the afternoon and early evening hours. Here's a look at Ohio as well. This is for the rest of today. We have that line of storms still going through Columbus. That might pose isolated damaging winds, but eventually we'll see that line of storms overnight tonight through Cleveland as well as areas near Canton and Akron by about 8 and 9, 10 o'clock tomorrow. We'll be pretty dry through the morning. Eventually heading to tomorrow afternoon, we'll start to see some more showers and storms developing. Again, these will be the ones that have the potential for maybe some severe weather. You can see near Richmond as well as Troy, potentially some isolated large hail or maybe even a little bit of damaging winds. And eventually going into the overnight hours, you might still see some showers and storms. But overall, severe weather should be pretty limited after that. Also, there's another slight risk for severe weather heading into Monday. There's actually a slight risk across southern New England, all the way back out into the East Coast. Main threats, again, damaging winds, maybe some isolated large hail. Cannot rule out a brief tornado, but I think the main threats can be damaging winds, it looks like, as of right now on Monday. Also, looking at the temperatures tomorrow, a lot of us will see a bit of a relief. By the way, later this week, there might be some big relief. Stay tuned for a second. I uh, can see back up in the northern plains, temperatures diving down into the 70s or 80s and for highs. Uh, down in the central plains, you can see 105 in Tulsa, 103 in Oklahoma City tomorrow, 102 in DFW. Back up in New England, 98 in Hartford. It's going to be a hot one over in New England, but that will start to see some relief going to Monday. As mentioned before, some storm chances will keep it slightly cooler back up in New England in the northeast and northern plains and as well as the Midwest still staying 
freaking cool. You can see a lot of us in the 70s and 80s. By the way, this is Friday of this upcoming week. There might be some big relief coming to the Central Plains. Look at the temperatures. We might be back into the 80s for a lot of us, even in Oklahoma. We might be down into the 80s. Unfortunately, though, at least for Friday, Texas is still looking at potentially some low 100s. But eventually, there might be relief right after that. New England, only in the 80s as well. So a lot of relief, it looks like, coming next week. Again, stay tuned. We'll keep you up there with the latest on all those situations and more. Hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new here. This forecast is brought to my Platinum Contracting and All Dents Repair. Also, tomorrow, or I can go.